that appeared on her first blog for radio and podcast programs she's produced and for leadership as a community organizer and contributor to the music and art scene in Providence, Rhode Island, where she calls home. Yeah. She has also presented and provided instruction nationally and locally on the topics of diversity in the media and digital publishing trends and techniques. Currently, she teaches English at Newell Leadership Academy, and she also continues to exhibit her photography project called Music Moves, creates and produces content digitally for a publication called 3 AM is the New Black, and is working on her first collection of poetry. Giving us some spoken word, please welcome Raza Clifton. So I have a couple pieces. I have some help coming. I also have some shout outs. I've got some friends who are here with their daughters, with their children. I see the brothers out here. We hear sometimes that black men, brown men, aren't representing correctly for the ladies. And I'm looking around and I'm seeing that's a myth, y'all. We're here. We're supporting. We're not doing this alone. This piece is um, it's kind of a message for Trump. And um, it's also a reminder of the diversity that's here today. Because some of us saw the writing on the wall. We've been ready. It wasn't November 9, y'all. Some of us have been ready. You tried to shroud me with your lies, but you used the wrong materials, for I see right through your cloth. I absorb truth like tree roots fall in water. I am the air that exists whether or not you see, and I will rise up. with some energy. So my friends from ERB are going to help bring some energy. You guys are going to help bring some energy. Here's how it's going down. I use the word rise a lot in this poem and I, I don't want to say it by myself. You've never seen this piece, so we got to work together. When rise comes up in my poem, I'm going to raise my fist. Y'all got to be ready because I'm trying to hear from all of you. This piece is called, I Will Rise. Yes, y'all are ready. <laughs> it would be too easy to say that I rise. Like a phoenix from the ashes. No, I rise. Like an earthworm through mounds and layers of dirt to get to the nourishment I need above, above ground. I rise like the women who showed up today and the fellas to march, to partner, to dream, to resist. I rise like the woman in the countryside halfway around the world who must fight time and nature to gather and supply water and firewood for her husband and family. I rise like the weeds in my concrete driveway whose growth I admire and consider remarkable rather than joining the legions of those who undermine and kill the plants. I rise like my ancestors and forefathers through the piercing and blazing pricks and lashes of whips, fire hoses, and bullets and like my foremothers who co coordinated the Underground Railroad and ushered in criti critical health services for women. I rise like the consciousness of the people who confront injustice, remove barriers blocking the view of poverty, and who proclaim and exclaim, I am you, you are me, and we will do this. I will rise. I will rise. I will rise. And as I rise, I'll see you up there. <laughs> <laughs> 